Just before we start, I kind of have a cold, so I might not sound too good. Also, I said I was going to play different games, but I've found them all boring, so I'll just come back. This is The Night Stalker. It is from a movie. Uh, what movie? I don't even know. Oh, Knight Rider. Yeah. So this is from Knight Rider, and the other cars from Mad Max. They're quite similar cars, and they're from like the same like point in time. So I'm just going to begin with this car. And the first thing we're gonna do is top speeds. So both these cars have the same upgrades, they're like maxed out. I don't put drag tires on them because I think drag tires are stupid expensive. And like no one really uses them anyway. Three. Why am I counting down? <laughs> so it's a little bit slow. Oh, it only does 180. I am max, right? Making sure. Oh my god, this car sucks. <laughs> the other car does like 280. So, it might look really fast, but it's not. It's just like a Lotus. It looks fast, but it's really not. I'm just gonna throw this in a race, just to test. See what I can get up to. I think this might be all wheel drive, because I think it like launches like an all wheel drive car. In theory, it should be rear. I'll put it like on the screen if it's rear wheel drive or not. Ah, look, I'm doing 200. So it's not recommended to go past your top speed or else you can't brake because that's VS logic. It kind of makes sense because it's not like geared to go that fast, so it just doesn't do anything at all. So it handles actually quite nice, and that's just because it's going slow, I think. But like you could just like hand this to like, I don't know, some random guy and he can do just as good as you. Oh, that looks so cool at night time. The red thing, visor. Let's just put it this way. The Interceptor's totally gonna win this race because of our lack of top speed. So it handles nicely. Like it handles like every other car basically, like a hurricane. Oh god. <laughs> uh, comment below what car you think is better, like in design. Like I like this car because it's kind of stealthy. Like I, it could legit feel like a stealth bomber and I wouldn't even like complain. I'm just going to switch it to the Interceptor now because I think it's about time we do that. I'm pretty sure I'm 9... I'm like... for the where did you... have I got track tires? Naughty. So how fast does this go? I'm pretty sure it's like 100, no, 280. So let's put that to the test. Can we do 280? Likely. Turn off from NOS around here. Like 275, that's like 100 miles an hour faster than the other car. Also, I really like the new lights that Roblox made. They're like 10 years behind like all the other engines. Yes, yeah, so straight away, I'm going way too fast around this corner. I have to brake, I have to handbrake. Oh god. Oh no. Actually, it kind of handles the same. Like, if you're like used to the other car, you can get used to this. Oh, never mind. Nope. The brakes on this aren't very good. It handles about the same. It accelerates at the same, the main difference is it goes way, way faster. I can test the acceleration, I will, in a second. It might be like really close, I think it's really close. Okay, let's test the acceleration, I'm gonna do a 0 to 200. And this road right here, 3, 2, 1. Are we ready? Oh, we can't even do 200! <laughs> I just realized. Not even 180, 170. Oh my god. I think they're about the same. The intercepts might be a bit faster. Just tell me which one you would rather take in the comments. Right, overall, they're kind of similar though, aren't they? They're both movie cars from a special movie. They're both in black. They're both muscle cars. Thank you for watching. My microphone's completely broken. I need to fix it. And I will see you later.
Why is the water black? 